Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's bite size talk. I'm very happy to have with me Kupra from the GHGA uh, uh, at the DKFZ in Heidelberg, I guess. Um, and she is going to talk about how to how to solve merge conflicts after tool releases. And uh, she also wants to give a very brief introduction to herself. So off to you. Thank you. Um, hello, I'm Kubra Narja, uh, working as bioinformatician and uh, bi uh, workflows engineer in German Human Genome Phenome Archive project. Uh, and I, I, as an affiliation to DKFZ here in Heidelberg. And today I am going to show how I did actually uh, solve the latest template update uh, for the NF core tools. Um, yeah, it was uh, uh, mostly simple, I would say. There are like a couple of steps you need to follow and it's going to be uh, all done. So when it has first come, uh, as you already know, it creates a automatic uh, pull request. And when you go there, <clears throat> you will see the uh, comments and file changes. So this is exactly the copy of the latest one. I already saw this, and this is the mirror. Uh, did you want to share your screen or not yet? Oh, no, I forgot this. <laughs> <laughs> see? No okay. problem. Okay, now it is there, but you didn't lose anything, right? Yes. This is this is just the latest, latest uh, template update for NF Core tools. As you can see, uh, there is uh, file changes and commits you can see. So usually if there is no conflict, it is going to be directly uh, merged and you will just uh, be able to merge pull request. But this time there it's created um, like a conflict in some files, which you need to resolve as you can see. So you cannot resolve this uh, conflicts here. So uh, it has to go into the, in your visual editor or command line. Uh, so before that, I wanted to show you, like if you have this update, first of all, you need to check, like check the files changed, right? And usually that's what I do. I just go into the, uh, this tab, file change tab and see what it has changed. It is uh, important to, for you to understand what it has changed and also to observe if the, those changes are affecting something major uh, in your uh, pipeline. So first of all, you just need to go ahead and check one by one the changes, which is, as you can see, um, <clears throat> highlighted by a green. And um, if it is deleted, it is red and the additional lines are green. Probably you know already <laughs> those things, but yeah. And then you just see the changes and etc. Go through them all. And usually the template changes won't affect the pipeline, but it's good to see anyways. Yeah. And you observe those changes. And if you are feeling all right, you can just go and review and uh, approve it already. But this time, uh, although you approve the changes, it won't uh, resolve it uh, because there were, uh, <clears throat> so as you can see, there is this conflicting files uh, and the files are this. So what I'm going to do now is to open my editor like here and change into the branch. And we will try to see uh, the differences. And before that, I forgot it. Uh, so, uh, it already explains actually what to do to see those differences, right? You just need to use your, uh, so it's explained actually here, but I cannot see it now. Yes, 
So what you are going to do is uh, explain step by step here. You are going to check out, uh, uh, <clears throat> you are going to pull the uh, origin from the bot size and check out and uh, merge it here. So, and that's what I am going to do. I removed the local copy that I have, so I just need to uh, git clone everything now. And could you increase the font? That would be super helpful. <laughs> yes, I was trying to, and I couldn't. Oh, yeah, it is command. Yes. Yes. After um, yeah, after you clone the repository, you just uh, just repeat the um, okay. Is it that was working? I guess. Uh, try to do. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I realized it now. <laughs> I just need to go into the yes. Sorry, and I'm just repeating the steps and merging this on, oh, yeah. This way you will see that it is not perfect. <laughs> and yeah, you just need to fix the conflicts and to do this, I, I'm going to open the copy that I have in here. Yes, finally, now you can see the differences uh, here. So basically, uh, what you need to change is uh, colored by red here, but it's also here. You can just see the list. And if you just go one by one and as you can see, uh, it says that uh, in the current change, and uh, there's this incoming change. So uh, basically, <clears throat> it's uh, added a line probably, and I just wanted to keep it like that. I just, that's what I do, by the way. Probably you can have it in a uh, merge editor like this, you know, that is the, accepted changes and so it just uh, removed this right but i want it back so you can just uh, go back and and see the yeah you can just have it back here and what is the oh no i i just uh so it, it is not going to push it anyways you just need to resolve all um uh, in the modules uh what it did is to <clears throat> change uh, some of the um uh, modules um uh, so th those modules, uh, git uh, <clears throat> IDs were changed probably, and yeah, you can just go ahead. And so for this, I will accept the changes because it probably uh, parallelized the change, uh, the latest changes from the modules directory, and you can accept it. Sorry, Kuba, can I interrupt a little bit? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, you just accepted the changes from the template merge. I think it's the other one, so you it right? Because oh. um, it has the fastq SHA now. For this one, I let me check. I think for modules.json, I usually just accept everything from the dev branch because the template usually uh, 
just yeah, that's fast QC the, back. Yeah. yeah, this one was different because in my uh, case, I don't use fast Q and it was adding from the template. Uh, okay. they, let, let me go back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, no, thank you. I am a bit lost, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> no problem. And yeah, that is the form I want. And I save it. Okay. The the other change was uh, from the modules. Yeah, this one. Uh, it is adding uh, fast QC again, which I don't need. I just directly remove it actually to resolve it. So it is gone. The next will be inside the config. Yeah, it is the it's the same. Uh, it's trying to add a uh, fast QC, which I don't use. Basically, that's what I did. I just removed these changes because I don't need it and save it and okay let's see if there is something else there isn't and for the yeah this is something new I guess it's uh, since it is the test full uh, config, uh, it adds um, something from the viral icon uh, sheet, but uh, this is not what I am using in my own uh, range. I just delete it and bring it to the state that I need to have. And for test config, it is the same. It adds um, test uh, data from this uh, project, which I don't need it. I just uh, yeah. So I'm just going to check uh, yeah, it is the same. the same. And now I am just going to push uh, the changes that I need. Oh no, I just did something wrong, I guess. And just let's see the stages. Yes, uh, did I? I think it is going to work, but let's see. <laughs> so, uh, we will see here if it is going to work or not. I think you, you I think you did well. Usually what I do, I try to run NF core linting uh, locally. Just to oh, be sure. No, that, I didn't. Yes, that's <laughs> why usually that's the like for me that's the only stuff I would have done uh, differently is try to run the linting like locally before trying to push anything. But as far as I'm concerned, you did like super good and uh, you performed well under pressure with some issue and stuff. So no, amazing job. Congratulations. Thank you. And the second try, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. At LinkedIn, I'm, yeah, I do forget the time to time to confess. <laughs> yeah, but that's why we have the CI. Yes. So, do you want to wait until all the checks co get completed, or? Uh, let's just wait until at least uh, the NF core linting one is complete. 
that's the one I'm most interested in. <laughs> Do you want to wait? Oh no, the last time I also had problems with lint. You are correct. Yeah, but this one will be the CI. It will take like a bit more. I'm really, I was just waiting for the next test on, on, on the list. If you just go back one, yes. The NF core linting, NF core pulling. So not this one, because this one is pre-commit and it's good. The fourth one. Yeah, this one. Mm. Oh yeah, you are correct. Uh, yes, so then we can see we have like a couple of issues there. Yeah, the, okay. Those okay. issues. Oh yeah, I forgot it. See, it, <laughs> it's the same now. <laughs> It is all over the same. Yeah, the problem here is that I am not using this um, uh, modules anymore, but they are still in my modules config. That's why they are complaining. So what I so interestingly, I comment them out in my first try and push it, but it was not passing through the linting, and then I just removed them completely. Mm. And Okay, no, then super good for me. That's all like, that you need to do. And for me, this particular error is not really like trying to merge the conflict. It's just trying to figure out like what linting tests are failing afterwards. So oh, perfect. Uh, we can do linting, but sometimes I have problems, so I can. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, what what I do when I'm uh, when I'm a bit uh, lazy, I like uh, remove every possible like every test that is failing on the linting. I merge this PR and then I fix stuff on uh, subsequent PR. It's not yeah, an optimal, but yes, that way you can like start going and like you can start working on other stuff. Yeah, for me, I usually use uh, Gitpad initially, mm -hmm. and then if yeah, see more. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, I would not worry too much about all of that because they were not failing on the CI. And for me, the I see. CI yeah, yeah. On yeah. GitHub action is or like uh, is our truth set. Yeah. So no, no. Uh, what version of NF core tooling are you using? I think that's a problem with your linting. Uh, that could be it as well. Would, would... I'm not sure. Can you scroll a little bit up on the, on the terminal? Uh, okay, now, yes, the version. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. That's so why I... it's failing. So, uh... yes, we saw all the problems. I guess <laughs> that's good. Okay, why we wait for this? Maybe uh, if there are any questions from the audience, um, you are able to unmute yourself now. So if anyone has any questions, please ask now. There's also a question that one was, uh, how would I access the branch if I'm working on a fork? Maybe Maxim should <laughs> answer it as well. Uh, yes, I can answer to that one as well. Uh, basically what you need, you need to set up the remote uh, with Git. So what I usually do, I do Git remote add upstream then the git url of the of the repo uh, with the upstream one for upstream and then origin this is my own repo and then every collaborator that i need to check out their code has their own branch i think i pasted that link like a few uh, i pasted like what i can see with that on the sarek uh, dev uh, slack channel like a couple of months ago but that should be like uh, fairly fairly simple to do Yeah, th well, thanks all for giving me the chance to speak here and yeah, and hosting me. Well, thank you very much for this very informative uh, way of showing how, how to solve merge requests, um, merge issues. And uh, I think it's also nice to see someone having issues and then like during the process and then seeing how, how it's actually resolved because that's usually when I when I run to someone and ask, very nicely to <laughs> please do it for me. <laughs> okay, then yeah. I would like to thank you very much for um, for your talk today, and I would like to thank, thank the audience you. for um, 
listening in and uh, I hope to see you again for the next bite-sized talk. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Bye-bye.